exhilarating race that was to watch our father winning on his chase debut for Timmy Murphy. How excited are you? I, well, I never get overexcited, you know me. Um, as it, it is, it's riding heavy at ground, I think. Um, and we went a nice gallop for for them, um, and everything fell away. You know, I was, I didn't expect to be that far in front. So that just makes you think maybe they, they should be a bit closer. Mm -hmm. um, look, I'm just delighted the way he jumped and settled and did it properly. Um, but very happy. It did wasn't totally in love with the ground. Um, but like he's grown up a lot since last year. You took him wide. Was that to get the better ground, what better ground there is, or to get a good sight at his fences? Well, no, the ground is a lot better out there for how long they'll all be going out there now. <laughs> um, but just where any, any ground that's been galloped on, uh, because it was so soft the last day, is, is riding a lot more testing. Um, so that, the best of it is middle outer, I think. And his jumping just got better and better. One sort of guessy jump, and then he seemed to get... He wasn't put off by that, and he got more and more confident. Yeah, the second last with a circuit to go, but he was looking up into the stands <laughs> going down to it, and that was the reason for it. And after that, he was, he was very good. He's very, he's very neat. He's got bags of scope. Um, <clears throat> and I'd hope a little bit of nicer ground, as in not as heavy, would... Uh, probably help him I think. I was going to ask you about the ground because he is unproven on the sort of sound surface that the festival the RSA chase would tend to throw up would that concern you? Um, look I mean the RSA is a totally different ball game you're going two three strides quicker than what we were going so you have to you have to travel you have to have a bit of pace and you know you'd maybe worry if he hasn't got that pace you know but he stays and he jumps um, Hopefully we'll get a little bit of time now and, and he'll come on again for that, you know. So are we talking about that kind of class or given that he might want a bit further, maybe at the four-miler, what, what, what kind of level of horse are we, or do you feel he is? Yeah, he's, I, I'm not sure. His rating is not a realistic rating, you know, 140-odd is probably ridiculous for what he won off 129. <clears throat> so he's, he hasn't done anything off his new mark, so you can't rate him on that, you know. Um, so that's that's just... And that performance, if you're looking at it, you're probably saying it is 140, 145, but it's not because of the ground, you know. Okay. So it looks like you're pleased, and you just see that as a building block in his career. Yeah. Look, we we've we have him back in the summer, and you know he was last year he, his form fell to pieces, whether it was he was too highly handicapped and in too competitive a race, or whether he was just wasn't mature enough. Um, so he's he's come on, he's strengthened up a lot at home. Um, and he, he tells you in everything he's done that he's improved physically, uh, but you never know until until you come here, you know. Okay, well, that was that was very exhilarating to watch. Well Thanks done, and he's clearly going the right way. Well done. Thanks, Lydia.